More analysis on this now with Helen Sara Ertem. She's an associate professor of international relations at Istanbul Medeniyet University. Uh, always good to speak to you, Helen. Thanks for joining us on Thank the you. News Hour. How important is this meeting when it comes specifically to bilateral ties, especially economic ties between Turkey and Russia? Well, it is a good, good fortune for Turkey to have at least the opportunity to continue its relations, bilateral relations, both with Ukraine and uh, with Russia, despite the continuing crisis in Ukraine. For that reason, I do very much appreciate Turkey's efforts to continue the dialogue atmosphere between the parties and also between Turkey and Russia. Russia is a significant actor of the region. In a way, it is a regional hegemon. For that reason, it is very significant for Turkey to achieve a kind of deal regarding Turkey's future uh, plans uh, in, the, uh, in, in Syria, especially. Turkey has especially very specific security concerns in Syria. And also, it has uh, concerns about the increasing influence of Iran in the region, both in Syria and in Iraq. For that reason, it is very logical and very uh, important for Turkey to achieve a kind of understanding between itself and Russia regarding the future of the region. Uh, for for, for the, looking at the latest uh, grain deal between Russia, uh, Turkey, United Nations, it is very significant to see that Turkey is a kind of opening port for Russia as well, for Russian products, uh, not only uh, grain, but also the uh, specific nutrients uh, for, for the fertilizers, which is also significant for agriculture in various countries. Russia knows that Turkey is playing a kind of uh, actorship role uh, to open Russia to the outside world. There are lots of uh, pressure going on from the Western side, Western countries, Western European countries, against Russia with the embargoes that are being applied. But at least Turkey has a balanced uh, policy uh, in this crisis, which will also comfort Russia. Russia mm -hmm. needs to go out. Russia needs to sell its products, whether it's uh, energy, whether it's uh, grain or other stuff. For that reason, I do see Turkey as a kind of opening port for Russia to the outside world. And you talk about this this opening port, it quite literally is with so many of those grain ships obviously traveling through Turkish uh, waters. Uh, President Erdogan, President Putin have a very cordial relationship and it's definitely been one that both sides have leveraged in the past and in the current situation. But how is it that they've both managed to maintain that relationship given that they are often, if not all of the time on the on the other side of situations in various countries around the world. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, the Turkish side uh, underlines that there are problems between Turkey and Russia. There are disagreements, but at the same time, there is a continuing dialogue atmosphere between the two countries. I think that the main reason um, uh, under that is uh, the trust atmosphere between the two leaders. Uh, they they have. Uh, a, a way of understanding each other, their security concerns, although they do not agree on the same type of actions all the time, at least they can sit at the table and listen to each other. I think this is because of the level of trust they could build in the uh, recent years. The same level of trust, unfortunately, doesn't ex exist between Russia and the European countries. We, we keep giving the example of France, for example, Macron uh, tried to play a kind of mediation role between Europe and uh, Russia, unfortunately, uh, or maybe fortunately, he couldn't succeed in that. For that reason, we do see that there is a, a very specific relationship between the two leadership uh, positions, both in Turkey and Russia. Mm -hmm. And this is about the trust they could build. And does Turkey's recent diplomatic wins, I mean, the grain deal was a big one, not just for Turkey and the region, but globally for the, the food crisis. Do those diplomatic wins then possibly change the way that Turkey is perceived in other parts of the region, even in, uh, internationally in Europe? Well, this is a positive uh, improvement for Turkey in my point of view, especially in terms of its soft power capacity uh, in 
uh, especially in the south, in Syria, Turkey has been uh, talking about hard power for a long time. And quite rightfully, there is a continuing terror problem in the region, especially from, from Syria towards Turkey. Uh, but with the Green Deal, Turkey had the chance to show once again to the whole world that it has also a soft power capacity. It can play a mediation role, a facilitation role between Europe and uh, Russia. And at least I think it prevented the crisis to, to grow up, to escalate. Uh, for that reason, I do very much appreciate Turkey's efforts to try to minimize the effects of the crisis, whether this is about food security, whether this is about energy security. Turkey is trying to do its best to minimize the effects of this crisis. And from mm -hmm. now on, especially today in Sochi, we will see that Turkey will, will do its best at least to carry this grain deal to a, a kind of a continuing or a, a permanent ceasefire between Ukraine and Russia. And final aim of Turkey is to end this crisis for sure, to end the war in Ukraine mm -hmm. for the sake of the region. Helen Sari Artem, great to get your analysis. Thank you so much. You're welcome.